Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. History of the London Assassins. Vault holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. entire vault filled with assassin history left behind once again we'll just have to reclaim this one later or find a better cache we I thought you preferred to stay out of field work I I was thinking more of you and your brother I, I shall provide uh, planning assistance from the train Jacob's off marauding there is a vacancy should you desire to broaden your horizons? Oh, well, Evie, I... Oh, well, Evie, I will think on it. You do that. Come, let's get above ground. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Alive, just set me up.
As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Linson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. How to do it. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave, sir. Authorized personnel only. Please, go away. How hard can it be?
Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. It ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. Oh, you're a child. A child who believes he can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? I wonder why so few patients... Elliot's and expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank He's you. simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist! Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India, by a ship, and up from the harbor to a factory, where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door, unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me, who are indebted to me, Crawford Starrick, for their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. 
Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Odso Berg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. Warning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starek has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Staric keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. Um, the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. <laughs> Oh, dear. They never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I say the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right, then. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, ain't we, Bess? You got one of them tell me what's it's in here, ain't ya? We've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to tumble. Pear shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know. Feel rough. Oh, that's disgusting.
want no more of your <laughs> time. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. I feel all wobbly, Baz. You are in shock, my dear fellow. Come on, <laughs> Bravo, Alex. Come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. Let's get to it, then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that soothing setup? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the noxious draft. Good on you, Alan. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. <laughs> or rats in the sewers. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. Let's crack on. Here we are. We will have to get in without being detected, mind. Well, I stunned them. You sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Doing fine, girl. Cross over here. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, golly, oh, golly gosh, I felt that. is turning into quite an adventure. Oh, a tad fiddly, that one. But I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. Here. Move on to the next part, Alec. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Jacob Eve, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, 
What with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oyun ekranı Spor 35 YouTube kanalını izlediğiniz için teşekkürler. Kanala desteklerinizi bekliyoruz. Kanalımızı beğenmeyi, abone olmayı, bildirim zilini açmayı lütfen unutmayalım. Görüş öneri ve yorumlarınız bizim için gerçekten çok değerli olacak. Lütfen yorum bırakın.